coastal and water habitats uh, are among the richest ecosystems in Europe. Uh, they are said to provide a third of all marine productivity and in addition to that they also provide a wealth of uh, services to mankind. What is important is to look first at the environment as not a set of constraints but as a wealth of opportunities and then to realise that the environment provides the building blocks for all the other activities. Um, first, I would like to say that this video is also a little appetizer for you because this is where we're going this afternoon. My father is a fisher, my father also is a fisher, and I raised the genes of the sea with them. I am João Sabino. Tenho 33 anos e sou mariscador na Rio Formosa. It was not sustainable to to work just with the with the activity of the shell farm, you see. And uh, I have to think and uh, other other activities to to join in the activity of the of the shell farm. And I knew that uh, the GAC it's making the the projects to help the fishermen. The average. It's a two and a half hour tour. If the people want to, to go to Farol, I go to Farol. The, the, people, the, the people choose. If the people don't choose, I, I make the, the tour right. What we're looking at here in Oyo in particular is people who are being more than just guardians of the environment. The way in which and the extent to which fishermen are involved in so much of what is going on, the interactions that there are here between uh, the fishing community, the wider community, uh, the research interests, it's such a fantastic integrated example of how things fit together and how development is working uh, across a, a broad front. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Farnet asked me to talk about my experience on uh, cooperative research. Why it's, it's important to do cooperative research from the point of view of fishermen? If they participate in the cooperative research, then we have a better science, better information, better knowledge, and of course, a better management. And the study that we have uh, just finished, it was a work with the people from Kulatra Island, and uh, they asked us okay, to make a, a study in order to evaluate if they could uh, use this net uh, legally. So we designed with them a project and we, we made a, a lot of trials on board their fishing boats and at the end we have introduced this gear in the, in the fishery. the project with with research and fishermen together that was quite nice the last one was the best with uh, the tourist uh, vessel um, the man who uh, catch tourists <laughs> not fish <laughs> In fact, when you see the, how the association works, it's like you have a mini flag within a flag. It's like they, they really pull together all the influences from the, the little community here that they amplify now through the flag at a wider level. So it's really interesting in terms of... We live the in a world the where the resources are always limited. And when the resources are limited, there will be inevitably conflicts. And you have to, as a flag, identify such resources in your area, mediate, negotiate the different interests, and make sure that the outcome is for the ultimate benefit of your area. Well, the environment's important in any, any flag area because that's where we live. Um, and if we don't treat it properly, then we're not going to have a fisheries in that area at all. No project where I'm at involves this area too, because it has to do with future developments that will be happening here on the side, especially in the area of production aquícola, that could eventually bring 
conflitos. Esse espaço a estar a, a ser privatizado, vendido, não é? Temos aqui cerca de 90 embarcações de pesca artesanal que pescam precisamente nesta zona que está a ser ocupada e que deixando de ter esta zona para pescar ou desaparece esta comunidade. Isso é um conflito que vamos ter nos próximos tempos. É, portanto, neste momento o Gago já começou a, a promover esse entendimento, não é? Nesse sentido, estamos aqui já a discutir uh, problemas, dificuldades e soluções. Portanto, agora compete-nos a nós levar isto em frente. It was perfect and it was showed uh, how you can use uh, European uh, money and what you can create. It was perfect. It's very nice. Creativité, coopération, euh, soutenabilité, eh bien c'est euh, les ingrédients de, de l'axe 4 et ici on les voit en action et, et c'est vraiment euh, très intéressant et on, je ne peux que m'en réjouir.